the very first uh, engine of Cherry Group. I believe the thermal efficiency was something like 30 percent. But you know today, the traditional ice vehicles, so without any electrification, the top limit of the, the, the thermal efficiency uh, is less than 40 percent. But uh, for the for the hybrid, dedicated hybrid engine, so the average thermal efficiency is about um, 45. I believe the limit of the thermal efficiency with the traditional uh, architecture of the gasoline engine should be something around the 45 cent. Let's now go to the 48. How did you achieve such a high number? I believe you are quite familiar with the, the, the traditional uh, structure of the, the ice engine. Yeah. So there are four strokes, intake, compression, expansion, and also the exhaust stroke. There are four strokes. Each stroke are all the same. So, you know, the same distance. But uh, if we, we, we don't change, so we cannot get a higher thermal efficiency. So we actually, we change the, the, the structure. The idea of the new uh, structure is not uh, so new. Mr. Atkinson invented this kind of architecture, but uh, he never put it into a, a real engine. So 100 years later, we have this kind of capability to, uh, to design and build this kind of engine. So actually, we changed the, the four strokes. The expansion ratio is 1.5 times more than the compression ratio. How did you change this four-stroke principle? Yeah, I, for the traditional ice engine, there are only one camshaft. We applied another crankshaft. So that means there are two crankshafts and uh, three times of the number of the current rod than the normal ice engines. Actually, we changed the the movement of the piston. So the expansion ratio is larger than the compression ratio. Then the, the, the engine can generate more power. We can see the benefits. What could be downsides? What could be the challenges? A lot of parts were applied of, uh, in this kind of new idea. So it will cause us the trouble with uh, more friction loss. That means the efficiency loss and uh, we need more air. So there's some, some certain challenge for the efficiency of the turbocharger. And also the size of the engine is yeah, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you may uh, notice that the engine is a little bit higher than the normal engine. So you would like to apply this engine in uh, some, some SUV vehicles. Zagovorniki popolne elektrifikacije, ki so večinoma tudi na sprotniki hibridov, verjetno kljub samo ne bodo prav pretirano impresirani na temi dosežki. A vedeti morajo, da inženirska ekipa Jeffa Zanga obrača osnovni koncept hibridnega pogonskega sklopa. Namreč na mesto, da majhen elektromotor pomaga velikemu benzinskemu, novi čerjev za poredni hibrid uvaja majhen benzinski motor in veliko baterijo. Kompleksnost tega sklopa pa se vendar le izplača, namreč obetajo nam dosežnje sek kar 2500 km, pa tudi impresivno čistost tega motorja. The reason why we keep developing the high efficiency engine is we want to find a, a, a solution just for the hybrid technology. The carbon emission for the hybrid vehicles and, uh, will be the same for the EV. The same will be the same. That's the, the target we are working for, you know. Because you know, the, the, the pure EV vehicles, there are a lot of uh, carbon emission, you know, okay. for the whole process. For the whole, for the whole process. Okay. Yeah, the, life, the, 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 the lifetime process. How, how far are we? Close to the target within five years.